Hello there, welcome to my channel, Mo Moon. My name is Mo, welcome. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm doing day five of Ivy the Occultist's um, challenge, 12 days of Yule, hashtag 12 days of Yule. Today we're talking about feast magic and it is 6.30 p.m. on December 25th, 2023. And I um, has been spending the day with my family. And now I am back home in our beautiful space um, with the candle burning. And it is beautiful in here. It feels great. Of course, why wouldn't it? I'm drinking a glass of red wine, which to me, this is definitely part of feast magic. Um, but I don't want to make any stains with the red wine um so let's get into it um honestly i think that whether it's a grand feast with a table full of food or whether it's just something simple um it's the thought that counts it's the love the tender love and care that's put into the meal um i actually have already started my feast magic um i cut up onions rutabaga and turnip in this casserole and i'm gonna roast that and right now I am peeling carrots and I will roast the carrots with um, everything else in this pot so I will also be making some mold wine so um, stay tuned for that and I will be making mashed potatoes with gravy and I am a vegetarian but I have a half uh, of a cooked ham let me just show you so my partner is not a vegetarian so i bought half of a cooked ham so that just needs to be heated up so i'll throw that into the oven with the vegetables when i uh, when it when the vegetables are almost done i'll just heat up the ham with the vegetables so i have some olive oil um here i mixed up the vegetables with some olive oil as you see i've sliced them so that they can roast quickly and i will be doing that with the um carrots as well and of course it's all about the love and intention that goes into the meal and it's also about enjoying the process i think if you make it a chore um it it doesn't come out as as good it doesn't taste as good it doesn't feel as good whereas if you put really a lot of love and intention of love into it i feel like it turns out um you know the way it's meant to i should be listening to yule music while i do this but um last time i put some music from spotify on my uh video i got a copyright warning so um I won't be doing that, but be rest assured that as I am cooking this, I am watching the 12 days of Yule from A Tiny Witch's Journey. I love her. I just discovered her channel. She's great. A Tiny Witch's Journey. Um, and I'm just peeling the carrots. Um, I'm trying to think like, you know, um, sorry about that. So. I'm trying to think about feast magic and I think part of feast magic is just the enjoyment that uh, eating has um, on people who are eating. Like when you're really hungry or when you taste really good food, um, it has this effect on you where it's just really, really magical and um, you know, Part of eating, just the idea of eating itself is really magical. Like uh, working in a hospital, um, a lot of the times uh, people will, won't feel like eating. They'll feel nauseous or they won't feel good or they won't feel like they have an appetite. And actually, one of the things that is magical about having an appetite is that an appetite, having an, a good appetite is a symbol of good health. So if you're not feeling hungry, um, you know, for a prolonged period of time, you know, there could be that that could be a sign that you, you're ill. So I think part of magic is being healthy. Like it's just, you know, your body is a magical vessel. So, um, you know, your body is the way that you experience the four elements, earth, air, fire and water. 
and the fifth element of spirit. And so when you taste food or when you smell food or when you um, see food and it looks good to you, I mean, that is just a sign that, you know, you, you can be grateful for um, the opportunity to have good health. So I think that's part of the magic of feast magic is just, you know, not only that, but when you eat good food with a group of people, um, it, it just feels that much warmer. Like I was just at my mom's house and my dad, my mom and dad's house and my, I had fat relatives over and we were all just eating and talking and it just, it, it just feels like the spirit of this season, you know, the spirit of this season being like, um, spending time with people that you love, spending time with people that you care for, um, you know, making time for them. And, you know, um, I'm just grateful for that. And so that's just a little bit of my thoughts about feast and magic. So I am setting the oven to four, 425. All right, and then I just poured some more oil on the vegetables. Oh shoot, just lost a vegetable. I mean, it's hard to do it with one hand, but I'm gonna mix the oil and the vegetables and try to get that uh, carrot that fell behind the stove out with the broom. And I'm gonna add some salt and pepper and I'm gonna put um, the vegetables in the oven and wait for those to, I think uh, 20 minutes for those to soften up and to bake. And then I will start on the potatoes, peeling the potatoes, uh, boiling the potatoes, mashing the potatoes. So yeah, and um, that's pretty much, I do have to make the gravy. Um, and I bought, I bought uh, packages of gravy, pork, gluten-free gravy powder to make gravy for the mashed potatoes. Um, let me just show you these beautiful magnets that we have. We have a turtle all-seeing eye protection. I have a magnet from my partner and we have this magnet uh, we got as a gift. It's a map of Greece on our fridge. I do love collecting little beautiful things and I think part of feast magic is enjoying the space that you're in. I love these pictures that we have up on the wall. This one is, it looks like radishes and this one is asparagus. Um, part of feast magic is enjoying the space that you're in and in, you know keeping it clean, cleaning up after yourself as you cook, you know. Um, I got my rag here, so I'm, like, I'm wiping down as I cook, um, and, you know, I got my, okay, so I, I smell the oven, it's starting to heat up, yeah, okay, all right, so I think it's almost good, so now I'm going to um, put the salt and pepper on the vegetables. So now I have my salt and pepper, I'm just going to mix the ingredients, whoops. So I'm mixing the ingredients in with the oil. Um, as I'm mixing them, I'm thinking about, you know, infusing positivity into our lives as we are entering into this new year of 2024. Um, purpose, intention, intention in doing things, purpose, motivation. And now I'm gonna, oops. Now I'm gonna add a little bit of pepper, banishing negativity and protection, banishing negativity and protection, banishing negativity and protection, banishing negativity and protection. Four times for stability of the emperor, stability, cleansing and protection with the salt, cleansing and protection with the salt, Cleansing and protection of the salt. Cleansing and protection of the salt. And so it is. 
magic is um you know going with the flow and um, going with the flow and rolling with the that we live in and so I took the, the top um, shelf off because it, it wasn't making it there was enough space for me to put my my pot and the timer is now at 19 I put it in for 20 minutes I'm not gonna open the oven because I don't want to um, put any cold air into the oven now I'm going to peel the potatoes and find a pot to boil the potato in, potatoes in so I can make mashed potatoes. And of course, as the uh, vegetables are baking, I decided to have a lint chocolate uh, as I cook. And it popped out of my mouth. All right, all. So my partner just got home, he's watching TV, and I'm still working on this feast magic, and it may seem like a simple feast, but it is definitely a feast, because what is the definition of a feast anyways? It's just enjoying the luxury of having food and doing magical things with the recipes, ingredients. You know, feast magic. A feast is just being able to eat enough to fill your belly, right? And to feel good. So the timer on the oven went off at 20 minutes. And 20 is the judgment card in the Major Arcana. And the Major Arcana card judgment speaks about another chance, a second chance, an awakening. And as we are going into uh, 2024 we are getting a clean slate we are uh, hopefully hopefully having an awakening to a new sense of purpose and to a new adventure hopefully I'll save some for the mold wine Not too much so now I am going to chop up the potatoes and put them into the boiling water to boil them to make it mashed potatoes. Um, I'm trying to think if I have anything magical to say about that, but um, I think uh, part of feast magic is eating foods that are whole foods, that aren't processed foods, although there is a time and space for sugar and fried foods as well. And of course, if it's a feast, why not? Cutting them up into small pieces so that they boil faster. Sorry, my phone keeps falling down. I guess part of me showing this process is just to show you that, um, just, you know, that this, this whole um, process takes time. And um, I think, you know, um, Part of the lesson that we can learn from 
thing that's taking time is that um, it's it's necessary to be patient while we wait for things to uh, take effect and that whatever we do um, when we work hard um, good things can come and that everything that is worth having is worth working hard for and anything that is good um, takes time and I think that's definitely a lesson for myself as well as I am um, you know going into 2024 and I've made uh, certain plans in my life to accomplish certain things and everything takes time so I have the potatoes boiling here and I have the the wine for the mold wine um they said that you're supposed to put 700 a full bottle 750 milliliters but this is one liter although we've already drank well almost half of it so i'm just gonna pour the whole thing into the pot uh seven minutes left on the timer i put the vegetables in for 20 minutes and i stirred them and i put them in for another 20 minutes so this is for the mold wine and the stove top for this is not on yet. So I put the brandy in and I put a cinnamon stick. Cinnamon sticks magically are used for prosperity, abundance, luck, um, anything that is very positive in the household. And then I have some star anise and it says to add a couple of star anise and um, I looked up star anise is good for divination um, and psychic um, insight. So um, that is the intention of the star anise to give us insight into the year to come and into ourselves so that we know how to do the best for ourselves in this year. So I put some orange in as well, and orange is encouraging us to have zest for life and to see things with fresh eyes. So I'm going to turn this on, and it says don't bring it to a boil because then the alcohol um, evaporates, but I'll put it on a medium just to bring it to a boil. The potatoes are boiling. Sorry, the fan is on, so it's a little loud. But I will boil this mold wine and um, then we serve it in mugs. It's supposed to be a hot drink for this season. And here is the cinnamon stick. There is the cinnamon stick. There we go. So it's pretty simple. You can always Google it. I have a little bit of leftover um, orange for the garnishes on the mugs. So the potatoes are boiled and they're soft as you can see. Oh, they're soft. I can put the fork through them. I think they're soft. Yeah, they look cooked. So now I have some um, olive oil margarine plant-based oils. Um, so I'm going to add some margarine to the potatoes and start to mash them with a little bit of salt and pepper. And of course, with the salt, I will say cleansing and protection is ours. And with the pepper, I will say managing negativity and protection is ours. Mashing the potatoes with the margarine. Oh, no. Stomping out negative energy. Stomping out negative energy from our lives. That is the intention of the smashed potato. So negative energy is making it out of our lives. So it is. This is what I'm 
what the vegetables are looking like. I'm just gonna mix them up a little bit. I think they're getting close to being done. They're getting a little browner. Sorry, my filming is not the best since I'm, there we go. As you see, they're getting, some of them are getting browner. This is no cooking show, by the way, but this is the magic feast. So I guess I'll let them brown a little longer, maybe another, I would say 20 minutes again. And then I'll add the ham to it just to let the ham heat up. But yeah, they're coming along nicely. Potatoes are done, they taste good. The mold wine is coming along. Picking up. Uh, gotta get to the gravy and and I'll set the timer again for 20 minutes. I don't know if you can see that. There we go. It's getting hot in here. So 21 minutes and uh, yeah, so this is my feast magic. It's taking a while, but you know, like I said, all good things take time. And I think I'm gonna make myself a coffee in the meantime. So the gravy is done. The mold spice wine tastes really good. It's pretty much done. We have uh, mashed potatoes that are done. And here we have the, oh, sorry, a lot of steam. So we have the ham and the vegetables that are done. So this is my feast magic. My feast magic. So I just added the ham that's already pre-cooked. I added it to the vegetables in the stove just to get some juices from the ham into the baked vegetables. Um, the mold uh, spiced wine is still um, heating up and the potatoes, the mashed potatoes are done. I just have to make the gravy. Um, I, as this was, you know, taking place, I was also opening up a few gifts that I hadn't opened up yet from a couple of friends um, and family. And I have ma uh, made a coffee in my S cup. Um, I'm honestly not that hungry, but I did want to take part in feast magic for this holiday season. It's a blessing to be able to have loved ones in our lives and it's a blessing to be able to cook good meals and to um, serve those meals to the people that we love and to be able to feed ourselves as well. So I don't think I'm gonna eat anything tonight. I might show you a finished uh, plate if, um, if my partner eats any tonight. I um, might show you what it looks like, the finished product, but I will leave you here. I won't drag this video on too long. But I hope you liked this um, feast magic video and I will see you again soon. Happy holidays.